Okay, so how to draw a graph. When you draw the graph, you're aiming to draw the actual plots over half the size of the piece of paper. So count the number of squares that there are up and the number of squares along. Normally, and uh, if it's a full page graph um, in the exam, it'll be eight squares across and 12 squares up. So your plot needs to be six deep and four wide. Okay, so looking at your table, transfer the table headings for independent variable onto the x-axis with the units. Transfer your dependent variable column heading onto the y-axis with the units. And select a suitable scale. So normally you pick the big squares. So going back to what I had on my previous table, I started at 20 degrees. Was it 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60? And then going up here, I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, in terms of seconds for methyl and blue to go colourless. And you need to think about this scale because the scales need to be linear. So what do I mean? Well, there's an equal division between each of these points. So every big square is 10. It's 10 degrees. Looking at the origin here, the origin of the X and the Y axis, I need to have a value on here. There's several ways you can do this. So each big square on the, the y-axis is 1, so I'm going to put a 0 there, and that's correct. Now, uh, if I'm going to put a 0 here, this wouldn't be correct, because that distance there is one big square, representing 20 degrees change. And here, one big square is representing 10. So this is a non-linear scale, this is wrong. So, how do I get over this? Okay, I can change my origin value to 10 and that's now correct or if I like to have 0 at the origin which is fine I can put a line break in between the 0 and the 20. This is the only place that you can use it the line break between the origin and the first value you can't just randomly put one in here okay so it needs to be there. So then I plot my points so and I make sure that I plot them accurately So I plot them with an X, not a plus sign because it's easy to read and I use a sharp pencil. Then I use a ruler to join point to point. I never got a ruler, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so imagine that I've drawn this with a ruler from centre of the cross to centre of the cross. Looking here, I've missed the centre of the cross. This would be wrong. Okay, so I need to rub it out and redraw it. So do everything on your graph in pencil for when you mess it up, because you will do. You'll mess something up and you want to rub it out and make it right. Okay, so there's my graph uh, and it's over half the page. Yeah, so if that's my page, I can tell that it's covering over half that. Then I'm going to plot the um, range bars. So this is the mean that I'm plotting. Yeah, these are the mean values going back to the table. And then I'm going to plot the values the lowest and the highest value that were on the table. So look at the columns one to three, and I'm going to put the lowest value that there is there and the highest one plus the mean. And I use this little TNs. So use a ruler to do them. Oh. You're laughing, but you'll get results like this. Okay, so I've plotted my range bars. Uh, and using the highest and the lowest values and a plot of the mean. What I forgot to say, on the y-axis, if you're plotting the mean, you say that you're plotting the mean. You're plotting the mean time it takes for something to happen, plus your units.